I'm feeling shaken like many Austinites, especially those of us of Jewish faith. Um, this kind of hate doesn't represent our community values. Um, no one deserves to experience hate. Slurs painted in parking spots at Anderson High Friday. Racist stickers discovered in Ramsey Park and swastika clad men unfurling an anti-Semitic banner sig highling over Mopac Sunday. Three instances of hate in Austin in less than 72 hours. So who's responsible for these incidents? Why all three so close? So the, the incidents, as far as we can tell at this point, are unrelated just because they have kind of different signatures. Renee LaFaire runs the Anti-Defamation League of Austin. While the incidents at Anderson and Ramsey remain under investigation, she's familiar with the group that staged the demonstration over Mopac. They're provocateurs. The way that they're trying to do it is by gathering attention, by showing up at different places. The group is loosely organized. While some demonstrators came from Texas, we're told most are from out of town. We need to spread love, not hate, and not give oxygen um, to the hate. Uh, but we need to be vigilant. Some of the events that happened this weekend, we were anticipating, others were not, um, and we're anticipating more. If that happens, LaFaire says the best thing to do is ignore extremists. Don't interact and don't give them what they want, which is attention. Understand what the true intent of people like this is. Talk to your children about it. Reach out to friends or colleagues that you may have in that community and offer your support. Um, learn about the issues.